describe Nikita Kucherov's availability for tonight out there? Uh, do you expect him to play? Uh, we go f- football terms. How do they go? Probable? I'll go probable. <laughs> John, on a day like this one and before a game this big, is there anything you can do to try to make sure the guys aren't playing with fear or, or concerned about the negative? What do you mean, the negative? The, well, the, the reality that if you lose, the season's over. Well, we've, that was game six in Detroit. It was game seven in Detroit. It was game seven in New York. Um, it, it, they all have the exact same meaning. You want to get to this point. We have, have um, been fortunate to get to where we are, but those were all do or dies. And uh, somehow, some way, those guys have found a way to, to, you know, draw a line in the sand and say no more. And that's what they've done. And um, you know, I can't sit here and predict the result tonight, but I will tell you, we will show up. John, uh, they were saying on the other side that you know they're approaching it like just just another game, and I'm sure your guys will probably say the same thing. But is that possible in a in an elimination game in the Stanley Cup Finals? Is it possible to approach it as just another game? No chance. I mean, the Stanley Cup's in the building. <laughs> I can't believe they would say, "Oh, it's just another game." So uh, we know it's not just another game, and we haven't treated those elimination games like that. Um, this is much different than Game One. This is. Uh, you got to win or you go home, and on the other side, you know what happens if they win. And, and so, no, it's I, I don't like to I don't sugarcoat anything. This is reality of where, the business we're in, and we need to rise to the occasion. John, just to your left at the back, um, you've had a lineup that's worked for you, sets of lines that have worked, but at the same time, it's been a couple of games now. Can you just describe the? Maybe the battle in your head between wanting to maybe tinker and tweak things versus knowing things have worked for you and wanting to have confidence in, in what's worked. Well, I've always had confidence in our players, and and we've done different things. We've gone 12 and 6, 11 and 7. We've moved different guys around. But primarily, we've had the most of our success when Johnny Johnny's line's been together, when Phil Stammer and Killer have been together, when Paquette, Cal Hannon and Brownie have been together, and Boyle and Morrow and Joe, whether it's Joe or Nestrov's in or out, that's when we've had our, our success. And you know, circumstances have pulled that away from us sometimes. You know, Cooch gets hurt, um, and different guys have, you've had to move different guys around. But for the most part, that's got it done for us. And uh, no reason to change now. It's not a matter of, well, we're going to put a player in here, a player in there. It's, boys, you got us here. Now you just got to get it done. John, you've often said that uh, culture beats strategy at times. Uh, regardless I say that all the time. Yeah, all, all the time, sorry. Uh, regardless of how this plays out in the next couple of days, what, how, what impact will you think this run or this experience will have on your team in the years to come? Ask me that question when the series is over. It's not over yet. John, you'd mentioned just you can't really believe that they say it's another game. What's the advantage for you guys of going through this for the first time uh, at this point in the year of soaking it in versus maybe their team of having been here before and done that? Well, yeah, like another one. This is another one I want to say, ask me after the series is over. But you can't trade these experiences in. Um, when we first when this playoff series first started there was just so much talk about Ben Bishop never played in a playoff game John Cooper's never coached a playoff win um, go down the long list of we've never done anything well now you can't say that anymore and I think we've uh, I didn't, my Raiders going to be annoyed that I'm going to talk about this but you know, I always say you can pass the take the driver's exam and get an A plus on it. It doesn't make you a good driver. You still get to have to get behind the wheel. And I think we've gotten behind the wheel in the playoffs. Um, is this going to guarantee future, future success? You can't sit here and say it will, but I'm a, you know, being there before definitely helps. And uh, at this point of the series, though, I, don't, I still don't feel we're the inexperienced lightning. We, we've picked up a lot of experience here in the last two months. I, I understand that Chicago's won a couple of cups in the last few years. Um, they got a heck of a team over there, but 
I'm, I think we have a heck of a team too. And it's, we're a pretty hungry group. Um, so I think right now you throw the experience out the window. It's, uh, it's going to come down to Wills. John, um, given the offensive talent on each side, you wouldn't think the first goal would matter that much, but given the context of the cup being in the building, mm -hmm. the energy the crowd will have here if they get on the board first, how important is it for your team to maybe take control with the first goal tonight? Well, you, you sure you've seen the numbers. The team that scores first it's, uh, has a pretty good leg up to win the game. Um, and I think there is a lot of offensive firepower on both teams, but really this has been a cup of kind of about defense. Uh, the goalies have played extremely well. I don't think you're going to see, I don't know, it's hard to say you're going to see two better defensive pairs than the one they have over there and the one we have. Um, they've been a lot of fun to watch, but it's been a kind of a defensive gem. So tonight when score six 6-5, don't ask me a follow-up question, but <laughs> it was, uh, it's it's just been really exciting. And, and But we were saying about that first goal, these are five one-goal games. So getting the first one, it matters. Uh, John, right here. Mm -hmm. On a lighter note, we noticed you were at the Cubs game last night. We saw you down there with seats next to Joe Madden. Did he hook you up? And was that good for you to just forget <laughs> about hockey for a night? I'll tell you about, that's all I'm going to say. It was the first pro sporting event I've been doing a long time that I could just sit there, relax, enjoy the game, and not have a stake in it. And that was, that was good for my head. John, uh, the power play, it's, you know, you don't get a lot of practice time. Mm -hmm. Penalty kills bear down more in this time of the year. Do you go into the game still expecting your power play to make a difference, or do you just think it's got to be one at even strength? Uh, well, as this series has gone, it's not, there hasn't, well, there hasn't been a lot of penalties called. Um, so when there is one called, it, the stakes are a little bit higher. Uh, but I don't think special teams has been a big difference in this series. We, that doesn't mean though we can't get it. We we shouldn't score on the power play. I think we've only had twelve of them. Um, but when it comes down to special teams, you we talk about winning the special teams war, regardless of penalties, power play goals, shorthanded goals. You got to win that war. And uh, when you're not scoring, it's it's tough to do that. But I think. You know, it's, it's, it's tough to gauge our power play because we've only been getting one here and there. We'd, we didn't have one in, what was the, the one we had the five on three? Games are all blending together. But so that's game three. We, we don't have a five on four that whole game. We didn't have a, we had one power play in game five. And, you know, I, I look at Strawman breaks his stick on a slap shot. Hedman whiffs on one. So we haven't really had a chance to get this thing rolling. And I give a lot of credit to their PK too. It's, they've done a heck of a job, but you know, kind of so is ours. And, uh, but I think probably much to what Pierre was saying about scoring the first goal, the team that gets a special teams goal tonight, if, if there is one tonight, will have a leg up. Yep. John, with tonight's game, I, th I think you'll have played as many games as any team ever has chasing Stanley. <coughs> It, with a game seven, no team will have played more games chasing the cup. Do you have to be on the inside of it? You've had playoff runs at other levels. Just this two months, I mean, of an appreciation from guys fighting through injuries to the emotional back and forth. I, mean, I, I don't have enough adjectives to describe what these players go through. And I'm not just saying our team. I'm, I'm sure the same boats for Chicago. Um, just... The, and it's not so much, there's so much physical pain that goes through what these guys fight through uh, day in and day out. But I don't think any, everybody underestimates the mental side of things and how, what a grind it is, the ups and downs of series and games and, and how those guys have to control those emotions and still give their best and execute under such intense pressure. It's really, really impressive to watch. And uh, uh, th there's no question, after going through this run, it's, uh, it's definitely the hardest trophy to win in sports.